I met another one of your brothers at the show. And your Long Island, he was represented. Oh, yeah, I Long had uh, my Long Island met, buds met and my school. brother. And it's cool shit. to meet people's families. Yeah, you know, they come to the shows. Can we go to your barbecue now that we had a little thing now? No, my mother's yeah. going to be there. I don't want her to meet you. Oh, Why? Just, I would love to talk to your mother. She'll be putting back the uh, the martinis. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> her and her crew. Interesting time. My mother's like, we're trying to do this thing now. We love each other. And it's just like almost like a sword fight every time we try to say it. And it has to be the last thing said. Right. It can't be I love you in the middle. Oh, by the way, I love you, Ma. Anyway, I was watching the show. No, you ended like, with that. And I love you. The end. And then the other person got to go. Mm, so, I well, love why you. Is it we just weren't. We didn't grow up with that. We just it was all implied. No. Just implied love. Implied. I mm. love you and you love Never me. Never spoken. Never that fucking I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> yeah. That explains the the glass dildos. A, 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 no, no, the glass dildos come <laughs> I just, from I just fuck from it. lack of a uh, connection with other humans. No, yeah. No. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. I didn't. I didn't get <laughs> secretly I didn't hoping fall the glass dildo breaks years. off. Oh. I didn't. I didn't formulate at the right pussy year time. Like my my high oh, school, is that what happened? like the when college and you know where you get most of your pussy, didn't get it. So I took mm -hmm. when I turned like twenty eight, that's when I started getting my pussy and started exploring. So that's where <laughs> fucking dildos came. <laughs> that was your idea of exploring. Let me get this fucking uh, hot form sand and stick it in your twat. <laughs> that's exploring. It's, no, exploring is a little some, spanking. And yeah. Sometimes it's fucking. Sometimes it's very very sensual. Those those fucking things. Is it? I traveled with you. I watched him. It's different with a for squares a, than it is for 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 professionals. In a Adidas <laughs> bag, the fuck the same way like athletes travel with cleats. Yeah. And fucking sweatpants. Because we are in a third world country. But you had to get that I, through my, security. Did they heart, check it out? I put it in my in my uh, in the plane bag. Uh, I picture him opening up like device angel. With like his tools. I'm very. Yes. I was very giving over there, man. I bring costumes and 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 things. I was I was very giving, but it was just like because I couldn't pop the, the the Viagra like these guys, man. I'm hanging with guys that this fucker was had a pest of spencer full of Viagra. A hundred milligrams a night. My head was. I, I had a headache and, and fucking I couldn't nose, breathe. No tunnel it stopped, vision. I couldn't breathe. Everything was had blue tinge on it, and I was oh fucking three chicks a night, and I couldn't come. It was as big as a car. He would walk in and just be it, his giant pink balls just would be popping out full of blood. But my heart couldn't take that. I can't pop Viagra, so I had to have fun. And I couldn't fuck every day. And wait, I mean, wait, why can't you take the Viagra? Yeah, shit will blow your, explode your heart. What, because of the diabetes, or because I'm f a fat guy and I'm almost forty, and you're not supposed to be popping something that takes blood from everywhere else and yeah, puts it in your dick. It increases your blood pressure. And like, I understand that, but the old guys are doing like the crazy. The old guys are because that's the fucking thing. Like they say. Guys start working out like when when they get if they get high blood pressure or diabetes or whatever affects your dick, that's when they start to work out. Once your dick is affected, then people that's all guys give a fuck about. <laughs> and the prostate thing too affects your dick. So when guys start their dicks getting affected, they're like all bets are off. I'm popping pills. Fuck my heart. Fuck my 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 blood pressure. My life. I'm gonna pop a pill and explode my heart just so my dick will stay hard. <laughs> And that's true. Viagra doesn't blow your heart apart. I have a good heart. It, not anymore. Uh oh. Fake stimulation, so your dick can't stop being hard. It's not even yeah. attached to your mind well, the anymore. Dick, the dick being hard is actually a side effect that they learned. It was something for your heart, I think. Viagra or something was was made for. It was for, it something, was for else. something else. Yeah. What was uh -huh. it, the guy EMT know for your head. What? I was oh, like the grow hair. He said Rogaine. Yeah. Okay, but it's not bad for you. I've, I've asked doctors. Dude, no, you. you Viagra was to grow asshole. hair. Did it ever grow hair? Yeah, it grows hair on your heart. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, your heart looks has moss on it. <laughs> you got it's crazy, but I was hanging out with guys that was popping that and buying it unprescribed from a third world country. Absolutely, absolutely. That's some gangster shit. I'm, I just yeah. bought some glass dildos. I was. And costumes. That's. I think that's a little strange. That's. But that's. Yeah. I gotta call you, him you like I see him. You think that's less yeah, crazy than popping third world Viagra? No, you no, brought I your don't. own costumes. 
For what, them. What kind of costumes? Little, I dress them up. They love like them. Like what? Like nice. what? Like uh, little like Victoria's Secret yeah, numbers or like. Yeah, some real draws, dude. Not no fucking, not that, because they walk around on the beach with panties on a stick. Like a lady will just have a stick and it'll just have panties on it. And they'll buy them. I had a, uh, I would buy stick. real, I bring them some real, you know, Americanized shit. shit. Yeah. Did you ever. Uh, Matter of fact, I came back you know three this? times and they, they would wear my shit that I brought them. Really? In the, they right, how do you know the, uh, the sizes? Of the women, or yeah, you're just it, picking out sizes it, it, of what you like. Well, you don't get underwear. You get you get the the suit, the, the stretchies. Outfit. Yeah, from from it fits size such and such and such and such. Yeah. Me and Patrice were standing in a fucking in a whorehouse in, in a third world country, and we're sipping our diet cokes, and there's hookers all over, and guys that speak fucking Portuguese, and we're both wearing robes that are too short, and my <laughs> I took a hundred milligrams, my dick was tenting, and I'm not horny. I'm, we're just both looking at my tenting dick and laughing. It was a moment where we both realized we're getting prostitutes uh, for sixty dollars. And Norton's dick looks exactly like him. <laughs> like you just go, why is Norton just sit? And we would just sit there, but the I'm telling you, dude, that's why I fuck it. To bring it back, that's why I bring those things out because I want to partake every day. Yeah. And I'm a watcher, man. I love watching a girl come. I, my self esteem, I love to watch women nut. It makes me feel good about myself. So if mm -hmm. I get a, if I got my machinery and I can make a third world hooker attach with, by my detachment, yeah. with the, with the con, with the dildos and the vibrators and shit like that, it turns me the fuck on when they really nut. Makes me feel good. Did they you fuck ever, seven guys a day. Did you ever like buy one? Like you said, you buy them like outfits, or you you get them outfits and they put them on and stuff like that. Did you ever like as they're, you're leaving or she's leaving, think like oh, I'm gonna miss her? Ah, oh, like I'm kind of like not like oh I'm in love with that girl, but oh, I'm kind of you know feeling they do? something and for this her. Is, this is what changed my life about the place. I'm I'm having gone back in a year. It's close to two years now, but. The thing that changed my life about it is the, the the way they devise a way to make you feel like they like you and you don't treat them like whores. They, it's something about it that when I first went, it was like butterflies. You buy into it. You just go, I got to get back this right away. Paradise. I went and went back in two months. I had to go back. And then <laughs> what I started realizing something and this is where like everything kind of got in my head about wow this is amazing i would be in a nightclub full of whores and they would look at you and and i felt like what a woman in a in a a regular woman feels like having a pussy my money was my pussy so the girls would be looking at me and i'll be trying not to catch eye contact with them because i'm like Oh, can you leave me alone? I'm just enjoying my dancing. I felt like how bitches feel in the club when oh, guys are looking, man. and they don't want to get eye contact because they don't want to come over, have you come over. And so I had to say, holy shit! I had to get that out of my fucking head and learn how to really just enjoy a fucking world full of hookers. Not get hung up on yeah, that they're hung, liking you, and or... they would be act jealous, and then I would just start going, wait a minute, bitch. This ain't free. I'd be like, if you give it to me for free, you could be my girlfriend for the whole week. And she's like, no. And I said, well, shut up. Both you bitches, here's 50 bucks. And you both come back. <laughs> you sit in the chair while I build on this one. And <laughs> Keep your jealousy shit at home. Watching him open his robe. We were standing in this bar area. And he's fucking got Jesus, with that laugh. He's got a robe oh, on. I'm, bro. Just, oh I'm my looking at God. you. I'm looking at his fucking face. <laughs> and Obi's like, good God almighty. Does it, do you relate to this at all? No. Nah. Is it any, fuck them traveling to a third world country. Just, do you relate to any filth at all partaking in any fucking dirt baggishness? Not in the way you guys dirt do. Dirt baggery. I mean, what yeah. is your dirt baggery, man? What is That's it? That's a hell of a lot more normal than yours. With, uh, without without having a girlfriend, all that, just your personal shit. What's some dirty shit? What's your dirty shit? You you keep sharing. You motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't playing your game. It ain't no game I'm playing. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I did. <laughs> you, oh. I, honestly, the the whole hooker thing with me, never, I never felt that ever. Yeah, but Brazil's ever. I'm not a big hooker guy. Brazil's ever. A different like thing. paying for mm. paying for sex, that whole thing, I don't get it. Watching him open I'd... his robe and fucking watch one of the hottest girls I've ever seen. Little that little girl braces that was dancing. Yeah. Oh. 
and he opens his robe and he puts his arm around her and she just starts sucking his nipple. <laughs> it was Jesus. It was beautiful and repugnant at the same time. It was violating on some level. And she's just got one arm around one and one arm around the other. It was just like, this is what an emperor feels like. This is what it's like. It really is see, like to but be being, emperor. It's like see, being the king of Rome. It really was. This is my problem. Like That's why I get uh, kind of turned off by strip clubs. I'm not into the whole, I'm going to make believe I, I, I like you. I'm not into the, uh, I'm going to make believe that I want to have sex with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I, that's There's how... something... Mentally about that, that takes me right out of the game. Like, if I have to pay for the sex, I'm like, she's doing it because she's trying to make some cash. Like, the strip clubs with the lap dances, I'm like, oh, this girl could give a flying fuck about me. It's a, a much more of a turn on for me if if the girl wants me. It's some real square. It's some opposite. real shit. Here's what the great thing is. You give them... See, I don't play around with the money. Like, I don't play with the... I, I know what it is. So I mm. give them... The money. It's almost like if you want to have sex with a girl right away and she fucks you right away, you she's giving you is essentially what a guy wants, and then she can now explore something else. I give her the money now. She don't have nothing else to do but be real, because I like to talk and 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 I like to be bigger than the money. That's what I I like to be. Fucking a bitch go. This motherfucker's cool. I'm gonna take his his goofy money, but at the at <laughs> the same point. Money. I'm a, this chick's gonna fuck, I'm better than, than the 150 bullshit ass dollars I'm gonna give out. And, and this is only in Brazil. I don't fucking like the cat house and all that shit. I'm not paying mm. 800 f for some phony bitch. See, the thing is, the experience out there, why motherfuckers get on a plane and fly 10 hours, it's a different experience over there, dude. Oh, I understand. Different People experience. do it like crazy. It's, it's working. But I'm just saying, in my world, I get taken out of the game. Can I go to a strip club and check out some, you know, some fine pieces you're of ass? Of wrong, course. You're saying the but wrong when, thing, strip clubs, dude. You, you it's strip Brazil clubs, like, like the whole like paying for sex. I, it's not a turn on to me. But you, you, have you ever in your life gotten pussy that you didn't invest in monetarily? Oh, that Besides old, high that old gag, but I'm talking it's about not an old gag. You take but her I'm, out for dinner, you give her time, you give her talking, you give her everything else, Opie, and then the bitch still may or may not like you. At least you can get what you want out of the... It, it's a fucking... At least making a deal. An honest want, exchange. Yes. Oh, we're in different worlds. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> what if What if the money that you're spending... Uh, why does it always have to be some kind of down payment for pussy? It, it is what, if what it's, it is. But what if it's you're hanging out? Uh, what you're if having it's just like good, hanging with a girl? You're having a good time. Who the yeah. fuck I likes swear. hanging with a girl? That's not... That, that, <laughs> till you... Wait. You're a till, cave, but you're a caveman. Till, till, you, thinking, till you look, are with her. I'm not thinking platonic relationship Dude. here. Eventually, you're fucking. But what about... Uh, the uh, beginning phases or something, your uh, your relationship, maybe friends that are turning into fucking fuckmates, and you're spending money, but you, you're having a good time, you're hanging out, not watching the game or doing any shit like that. I'd it, rather pay me... for a hooker and then hang with Keith and laugh. <laughs> that it, that's I'm, I, <laughs> you know, I'm not you know that's I mean, how you guys just, think. I'm not, I respect yeah. that, Women but always... I've never gone out on a date and it just was cool to be on a date Let with someone, you or, or you were frustrated because like, you weren't getting sex at the end of it. I don't. Here's what I don't like. I don't, and I, and I'm very honest with it. If I'm hanging out with a girl, I don't like can't fucking. I don't mind not fucking. I don't mind. I don't like we mm. can't. I don't like a bitch putting a stipulation uh -huh. on fucking like making fucking more important than my time or this or this food. Like I asked the girl, I said, look, I said, look, let's mess around a little bit. We attracted to each other. She says, well, I don't really have casual sex. So I said, well, I don't really have casual conversations, bitch. So <laughs> why is your casual, my casualness? Less important than your casualness. It's, it's not. That's what I'm saying. That shit is not caveman. It's oh, no, just no. being honest. How many bitches do you hang out with? I'll be honest with funny you. And you and as funny as your friends. I've never gone out on a date with a girl where I didn't want to fuck. Thank you. It wasn't like, hey, this is great. You know, I'll see you again. Maybe we'll go to the theater next week. Maybe we'll play I've chess. I've wanted to. Yeah. You want to fuck. But there have been nights where you didn't fuck and you you, you had a good time. You, di you didn't fuck, but you it, it was better than can't fuck. Like, she didn't go, she didn't go, listen, I don't, you know, I don't right, know what right. this is about. Right, right, exactly. Give you the speech about how you're not going to fuck. Right. But we never give a speech about, hey, you're not going to have dinner. Hey, listen, uh, I don't want this to be about dinner and movies. I just want this to be about 
you know, blah, blah, blah. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's not a caveman. I usually thing. don't make the move until it's a short thing. Like, I'm a fucking, uh, I'll be like on the campaign trail. And how much investment I'm fucking, did you do I, up I, to then? I'll do some investing and stuff, but I'll make sure it's a short thing. And then, you know, you either got to hold them up or hold them down. And, and and I'm not going to I'm not going to invest if I know I'm going to get turned down. Opie, I'm into the square thing like you see. I'm not in disagreement with him. I just my philosophy about it is that, OK, if I if if the game is money, if you have with some hooker and she wants money, I give her money so she don't have to worry about it thinking about it because I equate how she feels about money to how I feel about pussy. I really am going to be thinking about fair exchange. How, I, right. My, my behavior is always contingent, not on whether this bitch thinks we're going to be friends, but whether or not she's going to stay liking me enough to fuck me. That's the relationship. So once the money is laid out, that decision's made, everything's done. She got what she wants. Right. right. Now I can... Now if you're having sex with a woman, it, and, or if you're not having sex with her, you're waiting around, sitting around on some weird behavior, hoping that she That's makes a decision. Weird behavior. And then what it is, is they hold out on it, and they keep you hostage, and they do this and do that, so that maybe they force you to like them that's what i'm saying it's a that's the thing about it that's is that's the part i i don't like is the is that pussy is fucking above really sex is more important than to a woman because it's harder to satisfy a woman than it is a guy we'll stick our dick in any hole and and basically go hmm. <laughs> Jerk off, fuck a fuck a candle or whatever the fuck a guy do. But, but, <laughs> I do. <laughs> but to, for a woman to have a good orgasm, that's a talent that you have. It's more important that that our sexual part of it is more important than theirs. Yeah. I, that's what I'm tired of being. We're the, pretty much one moving part. Yes. When the women need all kinds of gadgetry being, right. you know, pulled and manipulated. And Never bought pussy time. ever. Nope. You ever bought pussy? I could honestly say never. Never bought pussy. Never went to it. First of all, back in back in the day, going to a hooker meant uh, some fucking chick was gonna spit a razor blade out and slice your throat <laughs> in some back alley. Like, like fucking Fort Apache the, the Bronx. <laughs> with the fucking Pam pants. Greer. Yeah. Pam Greer was going to slice my throat or whatever the fuck. I didn't need that shit. This place was a fucking shithole. Fort Apache. It wasn't like walking into some nice place and getting some nice broad. Dude, you fucking blue collar for, son of a bitch. You never bought I never did. It's a high to give somebody money. It's almost like whenever I have money, the most wonderful thing to do with it is to somehow get me laid with it. So when I hand it to a girl... And just know, like, if I pull my cock out, she'll just suck it. It's so dirty and fucking sexy to well, pull your I, dick out for, in front of a girl. Like, here's your money. Just that doesn't do anything for you. Like, I'm just, just gonna suck it. Just the just the feeling of a mouth on your dick. Just well, let's say for you a get, couple of bucks. But let's say you can get that without the money. But then they don't just leave after. Like, after like there's I, a price to pay, and it's, oh, your, it's uh. your life. If a girl says, "I'm gonna suck your dick and then amp gray," how do you feel about that? <laughs> no money needed. <laughs> But I love it when they have a driver who's waiting. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't think this counts. You know they got places to be. But I had a sexcapade uh, with a uh, with a, a stripper at a at a strip club. Okay. But I I didn't pay her for it. it doesn't count. Like, I, you know, I, I was slipping. It was like you know a few bucks here and there. But then when she was done, uh, we sat at the bar and kind of hooked up. That doesn't count. That's, that's, that wasn't paying for sex, but I'm, you know. That's a coup, actually. Oh, Kevin. That's a great coup. Kevin from Texas. Is it a bachelor party? That's great. We've heard this many times. Hookers don't get paid to come; they get paid to go. Sometimes away. they do, but sometimes you want you. And there's a lot of people agree with you, Patrice. You know, I'm just. I mean, I'm just being. I know I'm not. A, I'm not disagreeing with you on that, but there's a there's a fucking animal side that I'm just trying to have a conversation with the dude side, and uh, like like every dude. Is hookers and pimps, that whole world is interesting to everybody. Every guy wants to know what it's like to be a pimp other than smack a bitch in the face and <laughs> make her sell her pussy and give you the money. The psychology it's the, ma it's it. the manipulation of having enough mouth game to say, okay, bitch, you give your pussy away uh, for money and then give it all to me. Hmm. It's an interesting thing. And then women are like always going, Jesus, w some struggling beautiful woman out there is going, I have an asset that is is... 
I'm not using for what this yeah. shitty thing called dignity. And she wants to know what it's like to sell pussy. It's a it's such a, a primitive thing that we tap into. We, there's no way no can, people don't think about it. Can you get laid on your own? What? I'm just asking. On your own. Huh? On my own? Yeah. Yes. But you don't want. I'm amazing. I don't. I. It, it's just like sometimes, like the first time me and my girl did a threesome, she, she was dancing around it, dancing around it, and God bless the fact that there was a Puerto Rican girl out there that sells pussy, and she's a bisexual, and I called her up and I said, let's get my girl to open up in the direction where she needs to. <laughs> where she needs to. So bing bong, coming in, it's in her face, a trooper is born. Now we can go do the square thing. God bless women who want to do that. I don't want every woman to have fucking integrity and fuck up my life. <laughs> That's why there's a goddamn place called Fantasy Island that we call Rio de Janeiro with the with a mixture of every beautiful part of every woman. A black woman's body, white woman's fucking eye color and hair, Puerto Rican's uh, t uh, body color. They're every chick that you ever, they're gorgeous, and they sell pussy for $4.99, and you go over there, and you treat them like princesses, and they treat you like kings. It's not hooker ho shit. Not like the bitches that were here that time, like, yeah, $700, and then for an hour. These bitches pretend to be your girlfriend all night. They stay with you because they live in a shack, so they'll stay in your hotel room so they can have a nice shower and hang out. It's a good fake job. Right now, there's planes backed up on runways heading <laughs> yeah. to fucking it's Rio. It's a good fake job. Patrice it's is doing one. a great commercial they for don't fucking talk the a tourism lot. board down they there. They sell you what you want to buy. And that's why I came from there when I traveled there. My mentality got harder because I'm like, all the chicks here have to do is sell you what you want. All right, now I'm really confused because I understood what Jimmy was saying. Like, you, you get a hooker, you have sex with her, and then you go hang out with your friends. But in your case, they're staying the whole night. But I'm also with him, and too. They're all I staying also, the whole night. So you've like, had girls stay the oh whole night, God, and you like yeah. that. I, I actually fall well, in love I'm with hookers now. here, too. It's, Dude, it's I, different highs. You, you, what, you, how old are you? In your somethings. Yeah. Okay. 37. Yeah. All right, so... Look it, I'm, I've come Almost to this realization, and this is just is, it is what it is. Twenty-three year old women find me not to be a sexual entity no more. I, no matter how cool I try to be, Wait, no, no matter how much I try to iron my clothes. When did they? It, when I was twenty-two. <laughs> oh, shit. When I was like a twenty-two year old kid, I was like, but thirty-seven, they just, I'm not, you know, they just, I'm, a, I'm attractive to women my age. They like me. But when you go to Brazil, it's a twenty-three year old that'll sit there. With the calmness and the and the seasoning of a 37 year old that'll sit there and let you just look at how beautiful she is with a fucking blonde um, hair from being tanned and shit, they're just gorgeous in those green eyes and that beautiful skin, and they're sitting there drinking a coffee and you from everyone and we're all sitting around laughing like this. Now imagine a sexy 22 year old is sitting right next to you. Every couple of seconds while we're having a good time, you just tap her thigh and go, "Good girl," and she'll go. And drink a little coffee, and you're like hungry. Yes, she's eating. They're be they um they tap into something that one day maybe you'll know what it is. I can't explain it. They just know how to tap into something real fucking Jurassic. <laughs> they make you feel wanted and sexy and comfortable. They make you feel like that's what it's like to be Brad Pitt all the time. To have attractive women reacting to you that way, not feeling rushed, not feeling like, will they fuck me? A, you know they're going to fuck you. B, you know they'll stay or go, whatever you want. All right, so have you ever felt that without the hooker thing? Sure, I've With just a regular woman. Sexuality. Well, okay. if you fuck a girl... Regular woman, whatever. If you fuck like a, a girl today... Right. Dude, there's a price on your time. It's rare. It's re Only groupies will fuck you right now. And go, thank you. Don't you love it? Because they would have to go this. This is a groupie. What a groupie's thinking to herself is, you know what? This guy, his time is so much more valuable than my pussy. I'm just going to give it to him and I'm going to leave. He's more valuable than me. But some women think my pussy is as valuable as this guy's entire existence. So I'm going to fucking, I'm going to, if he fucks me, I'm going to get something out of this. And the something the Brazilian girls will get sometimes is is some cash. And you don't give it to them like, here's your pussy. You're giving it to them like, the bitch lives in in a fucking hut on top of a hill. 
and she's she's letting a mess like me or a mess like him and a mess like the guys we hang out with like be sexy and and what we do for them is treat them with complete love and i get mad because i want to stay here and not fly 10 hours to treat women with that that degree of love when they don't understand fucking you're selling it anyway bitch here's a couple of dollars now just act right <laughs> right. I'm not saying you're wrong. No, I'm, I'm not, just trying to. And I, I'm not disagreeing I like, with you, dude. I, I, I like just, learning about other people's worlds. That's one of my things. I love that, but you know, I'm trying to understand. Yeah, I mean, is there some evil down in there? I'm gonna find out. Everyone has some evil, some of sexual, course. Some, some deviancy. I'm gonna find out. Everyone has some evil. I'm sure, you got some a woman. Every single person listening to us has evil. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah.